sentimento de amar, lutar, é o desafio. Eu acho que a luta me dá isso, me dá... Is widely regarded as the greatest mixed martial arts fight octagon. Anderson looking to finish the fight. Anderson, the world that we're talking about, I want to be able to say that I fought him. Bisping has been working and grinding toward... Bisping looking to finish him. ...champion beating the greatest fighter the world has ever known and done... Eu acredito muito que essa luta é boa para o Bisping, boa. Eu estou no estágio probatório para um outro nível, como lutador e como atleta. Mixed martial arts fight. I'm going to inflict a lot of damage on this guy. Believe me. is back home for what he has labeled as a this fight grew closer and it sounds like he has done everything in front of his adoring fans really excited to see michael bisping he took a fall from grace for anderson silver to find himself squared up against michael it's going to be a beautiful night for him just to be able to face anderson silver bring his a game down it is now or never for the perennial fight right now you know, to be honest, I think it may be a bigger fight than the title. He'll always be held in high regard by martial artists and fans around the world for his ability to step close to that title shot that he's been wanting so long. And to step into it with... He's been waiting for and he is loving being here in London. My... Anderson, the spider silver ritual that he held for seven years, and that started with his through the gears and expressed his capabilities again. Starting he was placed in the division, Michael's been so consistent for so long. He's been into Anderson Silver's dot. He's landed more significant strikes, he spent more time in the up close to that goal. He has been respectful to Michael Bisbee. Very good spirits in London. Dancing around, having the most knockdowns in UFC history. The longest reign. Anymore, he's a record breaker. That's, that's the bottom line. You know, he he was changing. Anderson Silver has been changing, changing the way people look at mixed martial arts. But maybe an inspiration for generations. So to see him step back in here, it is an honor. Anderson Silver has kept his circle. Certain people needed keeping around, and that is the team for this one. Been spending a little bit of time focusing on Filipino. And we saw that at the open workout. I was so surprised at how relaxed the element of his training. You know, so he's constantly adding new stuff to his game. He's constantly that can add something to his game. So expect to see something new from Anderson Silver. The Spider Silver. Bisbee, 36. Silver is taller by one inch and one. Ladies and gentlemen, the UFC middleweight division. Scoring his fight, Harry in charge of the octagon, Mr. Herb Dean. This is the UFC, and we the corner. Herb <laughs> Dean, he weighed in at 185 pounds, fighting the seventh-ranked middleweight in the world, Michael, <laughs> and his opponent fighting six losses and one no contest. Standing six feet two inches, presenting the number fifth ranked middleweight in Dilma. Hi, gentlemen. We go to the rules. The evening, Michael Bisping versus. Herb Dean is tasked with overseeing. If you need reminding, Anderson Silver in the black, Michael Bisping. I don't even want to say anything, John. I'm right out of the way of it. Michael controlling the centre so far. Would be the villain this evening. And that didn't bother him. About that so much when he was fighting Diaz. Hunger. And he sees Michael Bisping right in his way. Caused him to smile. And immediately he comes straight into the centre to meet Michael. Been very, very happy with the progress that he has made. 
Michael's constant movement makes it very difficult for Anderson. It's very nice to watch, and it, it's difficult to, to set somebody up for something. This being works very well behind that jab, but he can't go chasing, pushing the pace, but not being exposed at any time. You don't even always, always know you're exposed until you're unconscious. Michael Bisping swings another head. Is just just feeling out their range and their distance and seeing what they can touch their opponent with number of significant strikes in UFC history this potentially is the Anderson Silva we saw at the way and set himself in position he managed to fight himself back into the center of the octagon does you know as we close as we close into the later rounds that's what showed his card he's not showed his game pulls out a victory here in London Anderson Silva with a snap down for a second, disorientated Bisp. Again from Anderson Silva. Looking very confident. Ooh. A good shot from Bisping. Anderson. The counts having absolutely none of that. Two seconds is far too long to wait for another round. The first thing. You look for the fight. You need... At the end, right? Don't let him. Don't let him beat you. Are you winning this fight? Real there from Michael and another one. Staggered Anderson for a second, but then immediately Anderson is him away. Straight back into it, then Dan. Michael Bisping gaining confidence. Bisping pushing him back against the fence, trying to get him over his heels. 100 to anything, feeling that it may potentially miss. What's the sure of your game? Um, Michael Bisping needs to be confident in his punch. Pl Playing out in front of us. The difference being Michael Bisping is considerably with his hands on his hips. Keeping a very level head is Mike. He looks like so could just be finished in the click of the fingers. In his time, he knows the later rounds are, are, are in favour of him. And they said after round number two, that then goes into their territory. Bisping, you know, like we were saying, Johnny needs to keep the pressure on. He needs to. Make, it is really going to keep Anderson Silva in a uh, in a place where he's react. Once again, Bisping near a situation where he can land that right hand. And Silva. <sighs> the, the thing with Anderson Silva is because he doesn't really push for. If he can instill that kind of fear in his opponent, a lot of the time working on. He is, he's landed a couple of nice short back fists off the jab and the consistency of Michael Bisping showing through. He's not giving an inch to... Anderson briefly looked over at his corner for a second. In typical Michael Bisping style. Good. And Mark Munoz to help prepare for Anderson's jab. Anderson goes down for a second. Good uppercut from Michael Bisping. Michael! Bisping is looking to hit the switch on Silva. He certainly feels the momentum shift. This is exactly where Michael wants to be going. Three. All right, hey, listen, you're doing really well. He's leaving his folder plates open. I want you to rip that body. All right? Use this right. Use this right hand. To start with the rocks Anderson Silva then follows it up with a right hook, left hook comment. But Michael Bisping forces into his guard and finishes the round there. Very good, Sunday. Not at all, not at all. This is a, a fantastic uh, contest between Anderson Silva now looks to looks to have switched up. Well he was conservative against Nick Diaz, but he's let's not forget that Anderson Silva, well I can't remember the last time he wasn't in a look at the Chelsea Sonnen fight. It was the fifth round, he lost all four of the first rounds. Bisping. Nations of Anderson Silva, which usually can be some fighters undoings. Again, pushes forward, moves in well, stays balanced. Cool Bisping. They know how much it means to him. He is testing his skills against one of the greatest fighters. Wet ring off each other's heads. Yeah, both of these fighters glistening. Silver poised to strike, but the constant hit caught by Anderson. 
Well, there's absolutely no doubt about it. And he is in the zone. Silver now, if you take a look geographically where he is in some... Michael Bisping making him not necessarily hesitant, but certainly more respectful of... Fell short just there with those shots. Yeah, looking to fashion an opening. By the court. Oh, another good jab from Michael Bisp. Anderson pushes forward. Looking for that head. I mean, I know he's on the back foot right now, but he's landing good shots as he's moving. And I believe for a Muay Thai clinch. Silver style, there's the tight clinch. Ooh, it's been very nicely done. Oh! The buzzer has sounded. He needs to protect himself at all times. At all times. And he was looking at his mouth. He's saying it's not. Well, now that's Michael Bisping. His chair, his corner should be allowed in. There's some confusion. But now Bisping has seen his corner. He's put back in place, but obviously you can't. You can't take your eyes off your opponent's self. He looks dazed, he looks confused. Anderson Silva thought that fight was jumping knee, put bad foot, could put Bisping on bad street. He was definitely hurt. Well, Bisping. Silva's in doing that is giving Bisping. Oh, like nobody knew what was happening. Anderson Silva immediately took charge then. And here, I mean, I didn't hear that final bell. How that, uh, that last round ended. Cool Bisping. It's got you up know, to necessary. It, you, you have to stay focused on your opponent. This is a flying knee from Anderson Silva. Bisping fights on. Bisping forcing Silva's shoulders up against the fence. Hey, Michael Bisping is landing shots here. Setting up that big right hand is Michael for that space. I have to wonder whether this is a Wing Chun style of, of parrying and countering like a, a Bruce Lee G to keep up with him. Jason Perillo asking Michael Bisping to start working. Anderson Silva is not fighting to win points on the score. That's what everybody expects of him when he's in there. People do expect the big finish. They do expect Michael Bisping, and that could be a bad tactic. You know, we're in the fourth round now. Entry with Dan Hardy. An absolute honor to be calling counter and to parry. Some really nice hand fighting going on here. Silver. Oh, yeah, there it is. Bisping reaches a palm out to. Roars and stamps of feet around the arena. Whilst Anderson Silva was getting some attention. Everyone has an appreciation for that is Michael Bisping understanding the, uh, you know, the kit. And he had one of Anderson Silva's gloves whistle past the... Been so very successful this evening. Forcing Silva back against the fence once again on his own assault stand. This, this is exactly what we expected, Mikey Games. Lots of head movement and hand movement and distraction tech fence. And now immediately the tables have turned and it's Anderson Silva pushing him towards the end of this round. A good knee, Michael Bisping pushes him off. Flurries. Oh, there was that upward elbow that he knocked out Tony Fricklin with. Straight right, followed by a big left to see out the round. The water. Was that four? That was four, we got one more to go. Third round, Dan, with that controversy and a lot of credit here should... and Anderson Silva sees that distraction he starts to put the pressure on Mike soon as that happens Anderson jumps forward and lands that jumping knee and starts his victory and immediately he's back into the fight it took him a minute. it's becoming a very dramatic affair John I'm so honored to be sat ringside Anderson Silva versus Michael checking out this fight Silva but for the most part he looks fairly clean there's a small trickle of blood coming Bisping. Hit that behind his left hand very nicely. As he did, he can't be distracted by anything else. Michael pushes forward. Again, finish. Once Fires again, the high kick. Puts it behind the left hand. Coming into this final round. Nice head movement from Anderson. But Michael Bisping, it seems to be bothering him a little bit. Let's bring the doctor in and... Of course you want to continue. Here he goes again. We're almost there. 3.30 left in the round. Cut on the bridge of the nose. 
Some urgency being displayed. Iron share of a couple of rounds. Oh! Throw kick from Anderson Silva. Michael with another knee from Anderson Silva. Looks for the tight clinch. Bisping is in reach. Once again, sinks in that knee. Oh! Tiff, very relaxed. Michael Bisping trying to land the good shots as he's... A brief moment's respite, but you've got to help. You can't help but feel that Anderson Silva... More in his career than he does in this final two minutes. But neither fighter is backing up here. Michael Bisping is giving... A great many shots on Anderson Silva. Anderson looks like he's measuring. Silva has some of the most beautiful techniques in his life. Silva's face as he's trying to defend that takedown, and he denies Bisping. Mood today. Is this his defining career performance? In the one minute to clock up now Anderson Silva still playing games that front kick looked very it's so difficult to put any kind of combinations together 15 seconds to go it's so difficult to know how the judges have scored it it's so this being revs up his efforts towards the final bell let us pause for a moment to reflect on Anderson Silva for so long, he finally got to measure him. Michael Bisping keeping the pressure on throughout to score this one. I mean, the front kicks were beautiful. The counter jabs were very nice. He was dropped a couple of times early on in the fight. He was stunned. He was dazed. Michael Bisping. Well, it lies in the hands. Everyone in there eagerly awaits. Bisping wearing some... We are moments away from discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we got scored this contest 48 47. Oh, the count! Bisping celebrating with his family. For All I know is I've wanted this fight my entire life. Very normal background, and you guys have been in my corner every time. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm crying. Down. Yeah, you know, anytime you get hit in the face and it does this to you, I worship this guy. This guy is the greatest martial artist. The respect I have to you for you, you cannot measure. I guy thinking, wow, I want to be like that guy. Anderson, thank you all. So where does Michael Bisping go from here? Talk about... Um, listen, I've always wanted a shot. I don't know, I thought I'd do better, but I also do it to represent Great Britain. I really do, honestly. When I first walked into Manchester at UFC 70, all you guys blew my... Michael, the count, Bisping! I've got to thank these guys. Paradise Sports Management, and most of all, Rebecca Silva. Obviously frustrating, the decision didn't go... area. We don't mind. Talk about the decision, talk about the fight. <laughs> you command a lot of respect throughout mixed martial arts, and, and every single person... Uh, uh... I back to London for a long time, and I'm coming here. Or you see my friends. Viva ah. Marco, minha história, feijão. Brasil. Não tem como vencer de um jeito, eles tentam tirar do outro. É isso aí. Sei minha família, tô voltando para casa, tô bem. E é isso aí. Missão com. He basically said, Brazil, you know, what can that was here. Thank all my coaches, my teams, and. The mission was given and I... Silver leaving the octagon right now. Give him some respect. He's one of the greatest of all time. This means for Michael Bisping. He beats his hero. We have witnessed something very special here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. In middleweight division history. What an achievement. As he walks away from the octagon with the union piece upcoming here in the UFC. We have seen his... And what a lovely thing to see that show of respect between arena in London.